So on this video, I'm going to show you how you can properly upload your video onto YouTube and get the most out of it. Now you need to upload your YouTube videos the best way possible so that you can give YouTube easy time to know the right people to feed your video to. We're going to look into how to do our tags on our videos, how to upload description, how to upload the titles, and of course how to upload the video onto YouTube. But before you go ahead with this video guys, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel down below and also make sure that you comment with any Anything on the comment section below that you think that we may have forgotten or any video you want us to produce for you next our goal in this channel is to make sure that you get the most out of your videos and they get the most out of YouTube by teaching you all the ins and outs into YouTube and video creation and production so let's get into the video here are the steps you're going to follow to properly upload your video onto YouTube. The first thing you want to make sure, guys, is you want to make sure that you have these four main. And these are, you want to make sure, of course, that you already have your video well edited and trimmed for uploading on YouTube. The second thing you want to make sure, guys, is you want to make sure that you have a title for your video. Every video must have a compelling title that will make people to click and watch. The next thought you want to have is you have to have a good thumbnail. A thumbnail that is going to attract your viewers onto your video so that, you, so that they click and watch. Remember, the first thing that people see on YouTube, even before they start watching your video, is your thumbnail. So you want to make sure that you focus on having the best thumbnail you can ever create. Thumbnail is very, very important. If you don't know how to create thumbnail, guys, go on YouTube and learn how to create good, compelling thumbnails that increase your click-through rate and viewership onto your channel. Now, you can use free online tools like Canva and Snapper to create good thumbnails that YouTube likes and that will give you the best click-through rates. Now, Canva is free. Anybody can access Canva. It's very simple tool to use and you can make so many things on Canva. But one thing that I use Canva for specifically is to make my thumbnails. So use Canva to make good clickable thumbnails. So that is three guys. Number four, you want to make sure that you have a good description. The description should be between 150 to 200 words. Now your description is very important guys. Your description is what YouTube is going to use to know what your video is about. So make sure you use all the necessary keywords on your description. So your description is very important. Take your time, have all the necessary keywords, uh, create a good uh, flowing description on your description section so that YouTube can easily use that to know the right people to feed your videos to. The fifth and the final thing guys that I'm going to assume that you already have right now is the tags. You want to make sure you have video tags. Now if you don't know how to have video tags, it is very simple and very easy. You don't even need to come up with tags guys. You can simply copy and paste tag from other post channels by having or adding a free Chrome extension called VidIQ to your Chrome extension. VidIQ is free guys. You can upload it right now onto your Chrome and then once, once you, if you need any tags guys you can just go to a competitive video a video, a video like the one you want you're producing on YouTube click on it and then on the right side of your videos if you scroll down where it's written video IQ you're going to see tags right there very simple you can just copy and paste these tags exactly the way they are onto your tags section you're going to look into that All right guys how do you upload your videos onto YouTube so you, you already have all these five elements guys you already have all these five things guys now let's go ahead and upload our videos onto YouTube so these are the steps guys let's jump onto my computer here so that I can show you. So guys, I'm right here on my YouTube channel and when you come to the right side of the channel right here guys, you get this button here that looks like a camera with a plus sign inside it. Now if you hover over this camera, it gives you the term create. So it tells you create. Now if you click on it, it gives you two options here guys. The first option is upload a video. The second option is go live. Now go live because it's go live. Like you can go live on Facebook, you can go live on TikTok, you can go live on Instagram, you can also go live on YouTube. Pardon. But you don't, we're not talking about going live here guys talking about how to upload a youtube video you're going to go to this button called upload video when you click on it it's going to upload for you this section right here so under this section is where you can see it's written upload a video so there are two ways you can upload a video on youtube guys once you are on this part here you can just come to your folder right here so this is my folder guys let's say this is the video that i want to upload guys and i can simply drag and drop this video right here when i drag and drop it of course it's going to upload or another option is you can just clap and click on select files here then you can navigate to where that video that you want to upload is select that video and click open and then the video will just come right here for my sake what i always do i just come here and then i just talk and drop this video on top there then what video youtube does it uploads that video for you and voila you've successfully uploaded your video but wait first you are not through yet you need to add some elements here guys first thing that youtube asks you here is title and it even tells you required so remember that word document that we had i'm going to come here because i already done my research and came up with a good title for this video make sure you do your research to come up with a good title 
title. Title is very important. So I'm going to just copy that title and then I'm going to come here and then uh, put that title on my title right there. So how to edit vertical videos in Filmora X. All right. So the next thing that YouTube asked me here is do description. Okay. So again, I, I've said description should be between 150 words to 200 words and this should include all the necessary keywords that your video is talking about. So I'm going to go to my, my Word document here again, guys, because I've already done a good dis flowing description. I'm just going to copy this description right here, guys, and then I'm going to paste it right here. So that is my description, guys. Again, description should be very precise and to the point and use all necessary keywords. Now, another thing you can always add on description include you can add your affiliate links on your description. You can add links to your own products that you are selling. You can also add a disclaimer, which is very important, especially if you're going to have affiliate links. Make sure you have a disclaimer. Now, if you're wondering how to create a disclaimer, I'm going to have a disclaimer right down in the description in this particular video. Just scroll down and you'll see a disclaimer, which is the general disclaimer everybody uses. So go ahead and copy and paste my disclaimer exactly the way it is and put it on your description, guys, if you're having affiliate links onto your channel. You can also have links to your social media sites also, like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and the rest also here on the description. Now, again, YouTube tells you it only requires maximum of 5,000 characters on the description section. So once you pass 5,000, YouTube won't allow you. So make sure you have less than 5,000 characters, which mostly you won't even surpass 4,000, guys, even 1,000. The next thing YouTube wants you is to upload a thumbnail. Guys, I said you can upload a thumbnail from Canva. Again, Canva is free. If you come here, I have a Canva account, guys. I use the, I use the paid version, guys, but the free version just works fine. So, you, so this is my Canva account, guys. So how do you create a thumbnail on Canva? Just come here to search and then you say YouTube thumbnail right there. And then when you say YouTube thumbnails, of course, here you go. So it tells you YouTube thumbnails. Click on that. When you click on that, now Canva does a great job. Canva gives you all these free, amazing thumbnails that you can drive inspiration from or for whatever you are creating. Of course, even before I scroll further, I already like this one right here. Let's click on that. So when you click it, it brings you to a new window. Canva takes you a new window, which is called the editing window. So here is where you can do all your edits. Now, I just love this uh, thumbnail. This is a very compelling thumbnail. This person is touching his chin and wondering, and then there are five ideas to make money. This is an amazing thumbnail, guys. This is how you're supposed to create your thumbnails, guys. Super, super amazing. A good promise. It has numbers in it, which is five. Then ideas, and it's in bold, and everybody can read it. And then there is almost five, five different colors on this. Exactly what you want to have in your thumbnail, guys. That is how you do thumbnails on Canva, guys. So then once you're through, guys, of course, you can go ahead and use all these navigating bat buttons right here to do all your editing. Now, this is not a video on how to create thumbnails on Canva. I'm going to do a video on how to create thumbnails on Canva in the future. But if you want to learn more, you can just go on YouTube and learn. But once you're through, guys, just come to here, share, and then come here to download. And then uh, you can just go ahead and then download this particular thumbnail. And then it will come to download to your download folder. So now if you come back to uploading your videos right here, guys, once you have the thumbnails, so already I have a thumbnail for this video. So I'm just going to come here and then I'm going to look for my thumbnail. So this is my thumbnail. I'm just going to drag and drop my thumbnail right there. You see, it has picked my thumbnail right there. Okay. And then the next thing is, it asks me for my play a playlist. Now I have several playlists on this channel. I'm just going to click on this. Oh, this channel doesn't have any playlist. Sorry, guys. But I have playlists on my other channel. If you don't have any playlist, go ahead and create a new playlist. Just to here, create a playlist. Just click on create a playlist. And then let's say this is a video. This, uh, this is a playlist about TikTok. I was going to take TikTok there and then say create and boom. Then I select it. Boom, there you have it. Now this video is going to be go under my playlist called TikTok. All right. The next step, guys, of course, is going to ask you for the audience. This is so important, guys. I is going to ask you, is this video made for kids? This is required. YouTube requires you to up to say this, whether it's made for kids or not. Most of my videos, almost all my videos, if not all, I don't require kids onto my video, guys, because sometimes you might use some words or sounds or graphics that are not relevant or are not appropriate for kids. So I'm just going to click on no is for is not made for kids right there youtube requires that and then i'm not going to do anything else right here i'm just going to go down to tags that's why i'm telling you guys it's important to have these things beforehand so that when you come to uploading you don't go back and st start looking for vidiq and tags and doing your thumbnails just make sure you have these things beforehand so that when you're uploading it's very easy for you just drag and drop copy and paste onto here so because i already have my tags guys if i come back to my word document right here i already have my tags so i'm just going to copy my tags copy all my tags and then come and paste my tags right and there you have voila you have your tags right there onto your channel very simple so just drag down again a bit guys uh i'm not seeing anything here we're going to do to this just leave those ones the way they are the next important thing is category guys make sure you categorize your videos there's so many category that youtube gives you if you click on this button right here it gives you all these different categories auto and vehicle comedy education entertainment film gaming for me my videos are mostly on education or how to and style but choose whatever category you want guys it's about news is your video about news and politics is it about peoples and blogs 
dogs, pets, and animals. All this kind of music, travel, and, and tours, whatever. For me, again, it's how to and style. So I'm going to click on how to and style. I'm just going to click on how to and style right there. And then once I do that, then I'm done with that section. I'm probably that is the most heaviest and most difficult section when it comes to uploading a YouTube videos. Next, come to this button here, click on next. And then it's going to tell you to add end screen, add end screen. So end screen, it it's, it's how it's going to appear maybe in the first 10 seconds of your video. Let's click on this and see. So I'm just going to say import a video from my from my channel. Click on that. There you have it. Now you have these different formats of end screen. One video, one subscriber, one video, one subscriber. Now you can always just choose the one that you want. Mostly, I just I just go with this, this first one. It just works for me. And then if you have a specific video that you want people to see at the end of your video, just click on this and then scroll down right here and then choose a specific video. That is if you want a specific video to come at the end of your video. The videos that are promoted at the end of other videos, that's what we mean when you say about end screen. So if you click on choose a specific video, YouTube gives you all the videos that you have in your channel and then you can just choose whatever video you want and then it will come at the end, at the last 10 seconds of your video. But for me, what I always tell YouTube is YouTube by default gives you the best for viewers. So just tell YouTube, make sure for everybody who reaches the last 10 seconds of my video, suggest to them the best of my videos for them. So I let YouTube do, do, do the suggestion. Let YouTube choose for them what they what YouTube thinks is good for them because I don't know the, the interest of my viewers as much as YouTube does. So let YouTube, YouTube choose for, for all from all my videos. Let YouTube choose what he wants to show to my view, right? Then I just click on save and then I do that. YouTube is going to give you this green tick right here showing you that of, of course you're going to have end screen at the end. Now there are also cards. Cards are those things that appear at the top of, of your videos. Anytime you're talking, there are always those cards right somewhere there. They always appear from this side going that way. Pop like they always appear like that. That's what we call cards, guys. They pop up at the left side head of the person talking or the video. That's what we call cards. You can always add cards. Maybe you're talking about a video of, uh, let's say, workout, and then you have another video on how to do heat workout. You can say, oh, I also have another video on heat workout, which is linked up in the video up here above. So how to add that is just come and you know, cards here, click on add, and then YouTube is going to bring you right here. Then you can choose from here. You see this, this uh, timeline right here? Choose at what minute you save that, that video, or at what minute you want that video to appear. Let's say you want that video to appear the third minute and then come to videos right here and then choose the video that you want to appear right there. You see how YouTube has made this thing simple for all of us. Choose the video that you want to appear as a card. Once you're done, just click on save. For me, I didn't choose any videos. I'm just going to say this card changes. Then of course, it's going to give you also a green tick right here. So that is how you add cards and ends. Of course, the next thing is just click on the next button. And then what YouTube is going to do in this part is just going to check for copyright. Of course, copyright means if you've used anything in your video that is copyrighted, that is uh, of what you call the intellectual actual property, property that somebody owns. You're supposed to use the way you want. For example, there's some music that yes, you can't just use the way you want them. You have to buy them. So YouTube also does that uh, copyright claim thing. So if there, no, there are no issues, it should just tell you here, no issues found. And then just click OK. Now this video is getting too long. Let's finish it up. And then this is the final part, guys. The final part is save or publish your video. So you can always save or publish right away. So you can always put it private. Private means only people are going to send the link are going to see that video. Nobody else is going to see that video even if they search. Unless you send them your pass that link from your channel. Uh, unless that means of course uh, also nobody is going to watch it until you send them the link public here is what you're going to choose always guys make sure you choose public but public means you're going to publish it right now at this moment and i click public public here and then i click publish it's going to go live immediately okay if you want to schedule it guys in a later future date just click on schedule and then choose the date for example uh, you want to put it maybe two weeks from today and then choose the time you want it to appear let's say you want it to, uh, to come live at say 8 a.m in the morning right like that and then just click on schedule and then YouTube will schedule it for you. When that date and time comes, it will just go live automatically. You won't need to do anything on your end. All right, guys, so that is how simple it is to publish or upload your videos on YouTube. I've taken you through all the necessary step-by-step -step ways on how to upload your videos on YouTube appropriately. Remember, you have to make sure that you try and beat the YouTube algorithm by understanding the search engine optimization and what I've taken you through. One of the ways is to make sure that you have a compelling thumbnail and title that is highly relevant to the video you're talking about. Another thing, make sure your description and tags have those keywords that are super relevant also so to the video you're talking about. This way, you're going to give YouTube an easy time to know who exactly your video is meant for. And YouTube is going to put this video in front of those viewers. And then if those viewers click, of course, you're going to get the views and the subscribers that you need. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, guys, please, by all means, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give us 
one of these so that youtube knows this is a great video that you've enjoyed watching and you've gotten value from it also guys don't forget to comment with any video that you wanted to you want us to produce in the near future if there's anything you don't understand in and around uploading youtube videos on youtube editing YouTube videos on filmora or creating videos guys for youtube then please put it in the comment section below and i'd love to reply by creating a video around that thank you so much guys for watching again and see you in my next video now before i let you go guys make sure you watch this next video it's really good it's really going to help you to get the most from youtube and from editing your videos please make sure you watch this next video